I told the same story, 1997, to the LAPD, the FBI, my job, and Miss Wallace. It's a natural reaction. They start mixing the facts in. They put their story with your story. Like that's really what happened. Women from buddies, fellas, fellas from buddies, women. It's a trait that's passed down from old heads right now to they children. The Gene Deal Show, cooking in conversation. May said, one of the biggest rappers in the world got shot and y'all didn't shoot back. One of the biggest rappers got, in the, got shot and y'all didn't shoot back. Man, people who follow me no. See, I'm not just telling this story 2009, 2004, 2017, 18, 19, 20. I told the same story 1997 to the LAPD, the FBI, my job, and Miss Wallace, and Nick Bloomfield. I told the same story to VH1, MTV, about 15, 20 years ago. They pieced and told y'all what they wanted y'all to hear. I went back to work for Puff in 99 at the Big's death because Wolf asked me to because Wolf was leaving and the money was good. I told you a long time ago. The money was good. Do I should I have some feelings about his money? No, I ain't have no feelings. It took care of my bills. It took care of what I want to. And it, it made a whole lot of extra around here. But I still was making money in the streets. I was part of the same game. I was part of slicking the family. Now, making money in the streets don't mean I'm selling drugs. For all you cats. To think that making money in the streets, you got to be selling drugs. If a guy got a bag of socks and he paid $12 for 20 packs of socks and he sell them to you for $5, he making money in the street. But I was giving block parties, boat rides, picnics, and different events and killing them. Not literally killing nobody. You understand? People want to know. So I'm telling them. So when they say, may say, why didn't you shoot back? People who follow me know the same story since 97. Timmy Harris, I'm your A1 since day one. You heard the same thing. Whiskey to Don, you heard the same thing. Am I right, brother? That. I fought with Puff. I'm arguing with him to ride on the side of the vehicle because I know it's got to go down somewhere. And unless we, until we get on the road, we ain't safe until we get on the highway. And we might not be safe then, the way Cali cats do it. But I'm willing to ride on the side of the car, risk my life. Puff says to me, if you don't get in this car, Gene, you ain't going to never, ever work another bad boy job. This is back in 97, the night Big got killed. And I said, dog, how you going to tell me how to do my job? He said, Gene, I ain't telling you better get in this car. We in Cali. I'm still bad boy me. If I say F y'all and leave and they leave me, one in the clip, two on my side, I'm gonna eventually run out. If they don't get me, the police gonna get me. Oh, I forgot the police was out there getting me anyway. <laughs> so now we gets in the car. 
I get in the car after this same dude, Muslim dude, that little C's pictured. He walks down to me first and puff. Let me, hold on, let me, let me let me stop. Let me get this straight. When we line up on the outside of the of the theater, the guy in the blue and white shirt come by, come by. He stops, then he walks through. And I say, Yo, Paul, you see that guy in the blue and the white shirt? Paul said, Yeah. What's up with him? I said, None. He good. He said, Where Puff at? I said, He in the car right there. He good. He said, Okay. Boom. So next thing you know, the guy in the bow tie, blue suit, white shirt, blue bow tie, the Muslim guy walks down. He walks down the thing and just, he got a cold stare. He got the stare on his face. I'm waiting for him to say, Asalaamu Alaikum. But he ain't say nothing. And Mustafa Farrakhan's son told me, because he broke down the whole nation of Islam to me, talked about how the brotherhood was. He said, yo, Gene, if there's a brother from a nation of Islam and he looks you eye to eye, excuse me, he has to humble himself by saying, Asalaamu Alaikum. This cat ain't say nothing. So I had my gun up under my shirt and I just dropped my hand. And he looked me in the eye and walked back down in the direction where Big got killed. I don't know how many times I got to tell this story, but I ain't going to tell it no more. The picture that the F, the F, LAPD showed me, and they wasn't trying. They had a bunch of pictures, and the guy was putting pictures up, putting pictures up, and then when he shuffled the pictures, you know, me has been investigated too. Listen here. You never look at the pictures that they trying to show you. I'm like this, but you're looking at the pictures that they trying to show you. You get it? So when I'm talking to my lawyer, I had a lawyer there, and I'm like, talking to my lawyer and I glance, I'm looking at the pictures and like they not, I'm acting like I'm not paying attention to them. And when they had the picture and I seen a picture with suit, white shirt, bow tie, standing right there, Puff is in the car right here. And I'm right here, I said, hold on, wait, let me see that picture. Where you get this picture from? That's the dude right there. That's the dude that Lil C said that walked up to the car. At the time, didn't know its name. This is a week or so after Big got killed. That's the dude right there that walked up to me. Oh, this is what they said. Melly Mel, thanks for the super chat. This is what they said. I said, why is his face messed up? Man, my face is clear. Puff face is clear. You can see the, all the green in his teeth and everything. He clear. My face is clear. I was looking good. I was younger, you know what I'm saying? Little, little thinner, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm getting down to pimp size right now. I'm going to keep this fun for y'all, man. So now, told this story a thousand times, brother. Thank you, Melly Mel, for that super chat. So now, the dude walked back in the direction where Big got killed that. I didn't see him go in the car. I took my eyes off because it, so, it was stuff going on, trying to line the cars up on the side. You understand? Trying to line the car. When it was time for us to go, me and Puff argued about me riding on the side of the car. When I get in the car, this takes his seat and does like this. He moves his seat back. I'm six seven. My that's me. What you doing? Now my feet are sideways. We ain't drive like that. He moves his seat back. So my feet are set. My, I say, yo, my man, my legs, man. This nigga like he don't hear me. I said, Kenny, take the next three lights. Run the next three lights, Kenny. Kenny said, why? I said, if you don't run the next three lights, let me drive. I ain't riding this motherfucker. Run the next three lights, Kenny. Kenny jetted through the light. So now, Tone 
say when we get past the light, don't say somebody pointing a gun at Big because the dude was parked on the corner. Big was not up to the corner. Dude was parked on the corner. Tone said, somebody is pointing a gun at Big. I goes to open the door. Right? I goes to open the door. We hear something go, pop, 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 pop. Instead of kidding, putting the shit in reverse and back and back, he goes forward. So, for how for you half a homos, for all you cats that want to know why I ain't bust my gun, first of all, you don't want to be in a problem with me, and I have to bust my gun. But I don't shoot babies, pregnant women, innocent bystanders. You get it? I don't shoot babies. Pregnant women and innocent bystanders. It's no way possible I could have shot my gun. You don't want to be on the other side if I ever have to use it. So y'all talking that, you bang, bang, why you ain't shoot this enough? You clown ass niggas. And don't wish I got her. Why you ain't bust? Why you ain't bust? Why? Come on out of here. If I got a bus, I'm looking the man out of eye. I'm right there with the man. I'm not driving by. That's that new way stuff. Mace called me. I don't want to talk to you, bro. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you, man. What you said, you gave avenues man but I appreciate that you made this known now you validated that I was there and you did that on purpose Mace see y'all think Mace is some dumb half retarded you know you know slow now nah, bro it's calculated Mace been knowing about this because he deals with M Rec him and M Rec is cool too so Mace been knowing everything. Imrek might have showed Mace, I don't know for sure, my documentary, my DVD, because he has it. So Mace knew that me and Puff wasn't taking no pictures with nobody, but you got to understand game. He had to say something in order to get this out there so y'all could know that I've been telling the truth. You get it? He got this out there so y'all know that I was telling the truth. But he did it in a way that he probably backfired on because he's trying to stay cool with the other side. So he made this outlandish statement that you and Puff took pictures with the who uh, killed Big, man. How that sound? Come on, man. Everybody in America who follow this, even my dudes out there in Ireland and Dublin, even my cats in Russia that follow me, even my guys in South Africa and Taj them over there in the UK, know that I've been preaching that the LAPD showed me a picture. They had a picture. And Phil Carson just said it too. He said uh, Chuck Phillips had the picture too because the LAPD was in bed with Chuck Phillips. And they was giving him stuff while he was giving them money. So Chuck Phillips had the picture too. And Phil Carson said, I should have took the picture. Why didn't you take the picture? They wouldn't allow it to me because they got some kind of privilege. The, the media got some kind of privilege that they, you know, gets whatever they get and they don't have to, you know, show face to the law enforcement. It's some constitutional thing that the, the uh, media have. So now, let's get it straight. Real men 
who go to college, go some kind of trade school, who got decent jobs, who out making extra money to help their families, they don't shoot babies. They don't shoot pregnant women. They don't shoot innocent bystander. If you got to bust your gun, if you got to take care of business, you hit up the cat that you're supposed to be hitting up. If a lot of you cats thought like that, that little baby out there in that little baby out there in Trenton, New Jersey, little Mike Mike, 10 years old, would be alive right now. Out of here. Go to a football game and kill a little 10 year old kid. This ain't shit the bird left on the fence. Don't tell me about why somebody ain't shoot back. Halfway down the block, 